Sunil Prabhu issued a whip that you cannot vote for the BJP candidate as speaker. Whip was disobeyed. He cannot appoint himself as a leader because Ajay Chaudhary became the leader on the 21st of June itself when we removed Eknath Shinde. That removal of Eknath Shinde and appointment of Ajay Chaudhary was conveyed to the Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House recognized it. So how could the governor call Eknath Shinde? Who is Eknath Shinde? सी एलीगल टप्स में आपका हार्दिक स्वागत है आज जो हम केस के बारे में बात करने वाले हैं वो है शिंदे वर्सेस जो उद्धव ठाकरे घुट है उन दोनों के बीच में है और आज जो दलील देने वाले हैं वो कपिल सिब्बल देने वाले हैं लास्ट वीडियो में अभिषेक मनु सिंघवी ने दिया था इस बारी कपिल सिब्बल देने वाले हैं और बहुत ही ज़बरदस्त तर्क देने वाले हैं उन्होंने बोला एक नाथ शिंदे है कौन और तो और ये भी कहा कि शेड्यूल टेन का मिस किया गया है और शेड्यूल टेन को कोई वैल्यू नहीं दी गई है यहाँ पर संविधान के जो लूप होल्स हैं उसका इस्तेमाल किया गया है और संविधान के खिलाफ काम किया गया है क्योंकि जो आसाम में बैठे जो मंत्री थे और 32 मंत्री के कहने पे सिंबल छीन लेना और पार्टी छीन लेना वो एक जायज़ नहीं है जो कि इलेक्शन कमीशन ने किया है आज पूरी की पूरी आपको इस वीडियो में देखने को मिलेगा कि ऐसा क्यों कहा गया publicly saying that another party is fully supporting me and changing the constitution of the house as if you are the political party so before you they say i am the political party and before the election commission they say i am a faction because if he is the political party he need not go to the election commission why is he going to the election commission he says there no difference between the legislative party and the political party which is which is malaj a mockery of the 10th schedule itself because the whole purpose malaj of differentiating was that members of the legislative party will not do acts which amount to voluntarily giving up membership of the party or vote against the uh, against the whip which will result in defection the whole purpose of the 10th schedule is to differentiate between the legislative party and the political party and the whole argument is there is no difference between the legislative party and the political party i am the political party but if you are the political party why did you move the election commission well, let us take for example three people out of five belong to the congress party they are a majority they go to the governor of goa and say i am the political party we are the majority top of this government numbers are stacked against government will be toppled they will never go to the election commission why because there is the congress party outside what will the governor do governor you think well it's on their logic government will governor will have to call the trust vote because the best way bomai says the best way is to find out from a trust vote but as all judgments of law are contextual unless there is an underlying basic principle like basic structure this is a mockery malaj that's happening in our country and i said malaj and that's i repeat it it's not about it's not about maharashtra it's about meghalaya it's about manipur it is about tomorrow uttar pradesh it is about anything can happen anywhere if you allow this to happen it's about our future so well they never say that the other party even if that the, your ladyship will remember that document on the 28th of june that was read first of all madam let me disabuse you of this whole thing about violence 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 on the 27th when we moved this court and the governor is arguing well on the 28th there was a danger there will be dead bodies it will be post mortem when on 27th a statement has been made by mr chitnis who represents the maharashtra government under the supervision of the supreme court can anybody manage say that look, dead bodies will be post sent for post mortem mortem this is a 27th june order and that was repeated again and again and again well as if i were to go to the newspaper reports and what they have said in assam malaj that your lordships are not going to enter into that when your lordships did not grant us stay fine no issue but we went to the election commission we told the election commission that look these are the very 39 people whose candidature as a member of the legislative assembly is subject to the supreme court so please don't decide this matter till that is decided no state did not mean that you decide no matter what happens they misinterpreted that order deliberately not the commission but the other side and said no supreme court has said no state you have to decide and then what did the election commission do on the basis of these 39 they got the symbol only on the basis of these 39 So what are we here today? Today they argue. Now we are the party because you got the symbol. So on the 27th of June we are put in difficulty. 29th of June we are put in difficulty, and then in September when your lawyers pass this order, they misinterpret it. 27 September. Next point is Malaj. They have been saying that under the mandatory rules, let's seven days notice ought to be given. Correct, Malaj? How many note? How many days notice have they got now? They have not filed reply till date. 
and see the injustice caused to us Malads, in this process. So they don't file a reply. Now they say go back to the speaker. And Malads, there is no one fact which is not admitted on both sides. That they have 34, majority in the legislative party, admit it. We don't deny it. That they were sitting in Assam, they admit. That they sent that resolution throwing out uh, uh, Sunil Prabhu, they admit. That they appointed Gogavale, they admit. And what's interesting is in that resolution that they sent where your Lordship said the only two prayers that are made are that Gugavle is appointed. But see the language as far as um, uh, uh, Ekna Shinde is concerned. He continues to be the leader. The word continue. But how did they realize that the word continue has to be used? Because we had removed him on 21st. And on 22nd, they dated the letter 21st and sent it to the speaker, received by the speaker on the 22nd at 11.30 a.m. So they knew that Eknath Sinde had been removed. Otherwise, they would have said that Eknath Sinde is the leader. But they said, no, Eknath Sinde continues to be the leader. And they backdated that document. So well, that's not disputed. That we called a meeting on the 21st, 22nd, not disputed. We told them if you don't attend, consequences will follow, not disputed. On 24th, we had a council meeting, not disputed. They said, but you know, nobody called the council meeting. We'll hold a parallel meeting of our own. Not disputed. What is disputed? That the, on the 28th, the governor received these documents which have been placed before your lordships. Not disputed. That he called for a floor test. Not disputed. That he resigned. <laughs> um, the, uh, the chief minister, then chief minister resigned. Not disputed. That he went to the governor along with the, uh, Mr. Farnavis. Not disputed. That he was sworn in. Not disputed. That there was a trust vote and we issued a whip, not disputed. That they voted against the whip, not disputed. What is disputed? From the beginning to the end, Mullahs, the whole process is clearly political. And Mullahs, I want to know, your Lordship knows about it, that a whip is appointed at the instance of the political party and conveyed to the speaker. That's conveyed to the speaker. How is the governor talking about the whip being Gogavale? Governor spoke of uh, not Gogavale. Gogavale being the whip. Spoke of uh, leader of the house, right? That, that also. How is he? He was the whip. I think also leader of the house. Leader of the house, Shinde. Yes. Now, how is, how is he concerned with it? He is not there to appoint the leader of the house or to recognize. He says a purported appointment of Ajay Chaudhary is illegal. How is he concerned with this? See all this, the, the letter that he is sending to the faculty. Governor's letter? Yes. Governor's letter. Governor is saying all this. You're referring to Para 3. Yes, Para 3. That is his letter to Dham Thakare. Yes. Ah. Yes. For uh, holding the trust. So why is he? Uh, yes, correct. 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 And he's saying all this. How is he concerned? And if they continue to be the ship, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to your Lordship when your Lordship asked. If he's the Shiv Sena, then where is the, where is the loss of confidence? There's no loss of confidence then. What he's doing is he's recognizing 34 people to be a faction. And on the basis of that recognition, then determining that there should be a trust vote. That's what he's doing. The fact of the matter is in law, he cannot recognize. And neither Bomai, nor Shivra Chahan, nor any of those judgments will come in the way. The solicitor argued uh, towards the latter part. He said that what they said in their uh, letter was that we wanted to withdraw support from the MVA government. Yeah. So he said this in effect was therefore a withdrawal of support to the government. Let's assume Malat. I will assume that against me. That can happen in any situation Malat. Any, any two people, four people, seven people, twelve people, thirty people can withdraw support. They may be members of, members of the legislature. That is why the whole purpose Malat, of the constitution article 170 onwards and to only recognize political party. The whole purpose is that. That's why Koyocho says Malat, that you cannot, you, you don't have any other identity. Integrity of the political party and the political process. That's why. I will accept all that Malat. That's exactly the IRAM Gayaram prayer test. That anybody can walk out. The difficulty arises in an emerging situation. Putting this is the question that's been troubling. In an emerging situation, suddenly during the process of the existence of the legislative assembly, there is this kind of a dissension. Take, for example, this very case. So, what is very apparent so far as the house is concerned, 34 have come on to one side. Right. This doesn't definitely, there's no material that it reflects what happened outside. That's right. There's no doubt about that. Uh, yes. But in a situation, perhaps one, is it possible, how, do, how does one 
let us say the speaker when such a thing is placed before him would he also take into account or merely adjourn the case asking the parties to go back to the election commission and get it proved yes but that i was going to come to, i would i was going to come to that but let's let's forget this case let's case take a case where people I mean i don't take for granted what what that letter says on the 22nd that the electorate is unhappy malas i your lordship knows malas there is not a single instance of any of them making any statement prior to the 21st of june that anybody is unhappy this is all their statement made malas because they are now sitting in guwahati and they know what the consequences and malas they didn't go to surat and guwahati malas on the 21st this must have been pre arranged malas these things don't happen overnight but be that as it may i don't want to enter into the politics of it but your lordship is right malas it is it is correct but that these things will happen but what is to be done what is to be done is if you are a faction and you go to the governor the governor will say i can't recognize you you want to say you are the political party malas now forget this case you go to the election commission you say you are a faction i am the political party suppose you had gone to the election commission and done that and then attempted to change no problem first the commission would have decided in the meantime the 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 uh, disqualification petitions would have been heard that's the constitutional and don't connect one with the other then the disqualification would have been decided then they wouldn't have been able to go to the commission because you are deemed to have given up membership of the party and forget so there may be no dispute at all malats let's why, why do you say there's a faction in the legislative party there may be if two factions within the political party each claiming that they are the party forget about disqualification what's the procedure go to the election commission what is that what are the 39 they are still the shiv sena so then he recognizes the split that's the problem malats that's why the tension schedule that's why the whole <laughs> this is the whole the issue when c was eliminated it was only for the purposes deleted it is only for the purposes majority or minority you can't destabilize an elected government and constitutional morality is there was the was the lynch train matter so the so well, let's say and that's why i told your lordship ideally the governor should have said no further action get your disqualification decided then i will see I told that you are a lot of trouble here. But suppose the speaker doesn't decide. No, no. But listen, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, suppose, suppose these qualification questions are not decided at all. In the meantime, the governor is satisfied. Correct. Not that he. No, no. He on the basis of the material on. Uh, he correct? can't. Well, that's not his job. It's the, it's the no confidence motion in the house. How is the government government satisfaction after election doesn't arise? Well, I'm sorry. As a constitutional principle, it doesn't arise. Don't give that discretion to the governor. You will have toppling governments every other day. First, the ED will go, then the CBI will go, then the governor will exercise discretion, and governments will be toppled. How is the discretion? So, speaker versus governor. Speaker versus governor, as I had said. So, now the flip side of it is that without any chance for all that to be panned out, the speaker shows over anxiety to take up the matter and immediately disqualify. all those who are intending to well, the speaker should decide your lordships have now said within 3 months this is the judgment of this court that within 3 months speaker must decide are normally earlier but latest within 3 months justice narayan's judgment was is mere chandra we got to that no no i was telling you about the flip side of it is on the one hand yes governors or anxiety saying that okay you prove the majority right, right. on the other hand we have a speaker exercising that discretion and says now come on you immediately show i will disqualify all of you so these are the two constitutional but there is judicial one is, one is subject to judicial review the other is not difference is one is subject to judicial review the other is not all are subject to judicial review no matter but once a new government is formed or else if he calls for a trust new government is formed or what judicial review true true a remedy is a different matter i agree with you that yeah. there is a remedy Yeah, but really speaking, it's there. And was, what we need to interpret is the scope of the jurisdiction of the governor and the scope of the jurisdiction of the speaker also. The speaker, of course, the scope of jurisdiction is clear. He has to decide the matter. Scope and extent. He has to decide the matter. Now, Malas, now just can't he come to pay back? I'm not saying anything right now, but factually, my lady, please, please, yes, please, all right. But factually, factually. incorrect statement. Right. And there was no input given to the governor. There were two letters sent to the governor. Which the governor has referred to in a letter to Mr. Udav Thakre before he called for a floor test. Correct, correct, absolutely. So that there is enough material once, for the governor to decide that this I government. Think, I think my learned friends, uh, 
have to first have to ask the other side. What is the material before the governor on the basis of yes. the last message should be to form the government? Well, no, then no, that's fine. Uh. Particularly when he knew that this was really a breakaway faction. Yes. 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 How does he justify that? The the question is how do you administer an oath of office to Eknath Sinde? No, I mean, I can understand. I do. I mean, there'll be another. There's another situation. There are multi parties, mother. Not just in this case. There's in several states, mother. We have a multi party system. Several parties come together, and mother well, suddenly, suddenly a no confidence is moved. Mother, well, or somebody seeks, and in the meantime, some disqualification petitions are pending. At that stage, the governor doesn't bother about the disqualification petitions. There's a no confidence. These fellows will be bought. Can you see, mothers, the consequences? We'll take the thirty-nine to be validly members of the house, not disqualified. Disqualification petitions pending. Move a no confidence motion. Now they can't move a no confidence motion because the thirty-nine will be subject to the whip. So they know that they don't have majority. Therefore, what do they do? Thirty-nine go to the governor. And say that now, recognize me. So please appreciate, mothers, the way to 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 ensure that the government falls is to move the no confidence.